in a room full of junk. It's just Destroyed and wrecked um, wooden furniture, some decaying couches. Previously, you had gone across that uh, hallway to the north of uh, this room to an intersection which contained a giant 10 foot by 10 foot pressure plate which you currently have wedged in the down position with some weight, with some uh, masonry that you pulled out of the walls to act as weight. You had found a siren in a room full of silvery mist which had a deleterious effect on a couple of your friends uh, mental states. But you did manage to recover a bag of holding from that room. So, that's nice. To the north of that intersection, the hall had led to a secret door that when you opened, it uh, appeared to just be another masonry wall directly behind it. Same to the south. Though that one was not hidden. The door was plain, just you opened it another ma in just an empty masonry wall. The door to the south of this room, you know, leads out to another hallway. And to the east, yet another fake door. So, what do you guys do? Um, so, uh, would I recognize what had happened to our friends here? Possibly. Make an arcana check. Oh, it's my arc. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, I'm good. Oh my god. <laughs> Rex applauds. Wow. You are not sure. <laughs> Son. Nice, nice job, wizard. <laughs> Go find yourself. He's a wizard with a sword. Yeah. It doesn't he doesn't even use. A swizzard. Um Sounds kinky. Or a dessert. One of the two. A great dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Royce, you're gonna do fine in life. Thank you. <laughs> dad joke on the spot. Alright. Um so we retreated back to the, the room with two doors. And then the yes, juicy curtains. Yes, the juicy curtains, which had concealed another door that had led to that hallway <laughs> that led to your friend losing his mind. Okay, so we have not explored that northwest door, correct? Or was that one of the fake ones? I forget. The northeast door was a fake one. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. Uh, it oh, actually hangs oh. open, the masonry wall visible behind it. Right, and have we tried just... Take the shit out of the wall. Well, we can just disassemble the wall. We we have people that are prefer, well knowledgeable about building and structures, so we can just take bricks apart. We don't have to, you know, destroy them. Because yeah, I was thinking like a hidden hallway behind a fake wall. We could check. Yeah, I'd say we, uh, we check. Spend spend a little bit of time picking at them bricks and see what happens when we pull them out from the northeast door. Correct. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys start pulling bricks out. It takes you about an hour or so to uh, make any real headway. And yeah, as you're kind of freeing the bricks, it just reveals like a rough mason. Uh, not it's just like a rough carved wall, like someone had it's dug this place stone. out of a like well, like someone had like dug this place out of a stone hill and then put up bricks to make it look nice. Ah, yeah. the mighty dwarves. All right, um, how much does one brick weigh? Uh, I'm going to say that these are 10-pound bricks. Okay, no, approximately how many of them are in very good condition? Very good condition? None. Okay, well, good condition. They are then. ancient. Like, well, like, I mean, obviously the bricks didn't shatter every single time we popped them free, so we would right. get a... Yeah, I'm just there, curious how there many There are more. probably six in good condition. Okay. How many? How many PSA 10 bricks? <laughs> 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 wow. I haven't heard that one in a long time. Okay, um, I will put those six in the bag of holding. I just wanted some bricks to throw at people. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, uh, can we head towards the... there? Because there's the one door we haven't checked yet, right? 
Is that the northwest? Is, uh, northeast. Yeah, I keep saying northwest. Uh, northwest is where we went through for the secret hallway, and then the south is where we entered. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can we check out the northeast door? That's where we just pulled all these. Those we just came God, out, yeah. I'm so confused. No, no, you're fine. So we're in that little square room. That's uh, three by three. The northeast door of that was a dead wall. We just pulled a bunch of bricks out. I got six to throw at people. The northwest is that hallway that's connected with the stairs that we've fully explored. And then to the south is where we entered the southwest. So we have, we've fully explored this particular area. Hmm. Wasn't there two hidden walls? Negative. There was two curtains, only one hidden door. Okay, cool. Then I am stumped. Um, under, do you want me to notate anything with the bricks specifically if they come up later on for sales or amusement? Nope. They are just generic bricks. All right. <laughs> then Throw one in my head. See if it jars my memory. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them all in my backpack. I have a bag of holding. I get it. That means I get to pick up all kinds of random shit. <laughs> Can we save the can we save the big dumb cleric? We're working on it. Yeah, does anybody <laughs> I, do you have any kind of spells that can help these guys? Um I do have greater restoration. That sounds promising. That's but it's not fixed. ready, but it's not. Oh, oh. it's a ritual, isn't it? No, no, he's a wizard. I guess I, I can't cast spells if I can remember that right. Correct. Yeah, you cannot. Because right. I have greater um, restoration. Where, uh, just real quick, under, I want to just specify with you timeline wise. Where did we leave off? Did we leave off on a short rest or a successful long rest? Short um. Rest. Yeah, you guys have just taken a short rest in this room. Okay. I just wanted to check. I didn't remember. So, so then we, we head will. Back, then? Yeah, we're going to head back unless we want to do uh, uh, turn up the tables in this room real quick and see if we can find another doorway somewhere. Yeah, can I... Or can we just make like a microscope? Hold on. Yeah, I was going to say... I think you meant magnifying glass. That's what I meant. You mean like (laughs) trap door? Trap door. I want a microscope to examine a room. Hmm. Yeah, can I, I don't know, make an investigation check to see if I can find any other like doors or, or like... Sure, go ahead and make your investigation check. You said you're using a magnifying glass? I'm No, that's... No, we don't have one. That was ah. a joke. Well, that's a shame, because magnifying glasses give you, advantages on, give you advantage on that kind of check. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. get the bag of powder. We still have the, the chalk cloud. I was giving you assistance. I was helping you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Since we were discussing it, sure, so yeah, and then you would have over. advantage on that. Yeah, if you want to throw an RD20 down. Okay, thank you for the help. Fifteen. Yeah, so you're looking around, and no, you don't find any other secret passages, compartments. Looks like, you know, the room looks pretty well looted. Like, like mm-hmm. people came through and smashed all the furniture, except for the coffers that contained snakes and gems. Those seemed new. There was no dust on them. True. I can't remember that door to the south. Was just where really we came out an after door. Yeah, that's oh, that's where we came in. Yeah, the door to the mm-hmm. south is where we came in. That's where we had the what was it that was in the oh, the door to the north was kind? where I found the fake door. It was really just the wall. Correct. No, the door to the northwest is the curtain. That's the hallway. No, 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 no. Dirt north, north, northeast, or north, north. You're talking about the T. We're talking about the room. The, oh. the crossroads is fully explored. We there yeah. is nothing in there to go any further. Are we in the bot? Are we? In the we are in that little three by three room right now. The square room. Oh uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I say, I say we just head back. I, I don't think. Yeah, we, yeah, we just head back. Uh, yeah, head back and then do a quick looky loo through that. Um, I'll, end I'll of grab a. I'll, I'll grab Steven's hand. Help get him so he doesn't. Get lost. Oh, okay. The rope is for. We just tie a leash cool. on him. I do believe he still follows his friends. Yeah, his he he's a recognized friend and foe. He he's just kind of slow about it. <laughs> Son, <laughs> it's like real life. So yeah, under I'll take a look down that um, the the four tiles to the uh, east. 
Sure. So you're Take looking a for look at that. Yeah, go ahead yeah. and make an investigation check because you check the hallway for secret passages. Could I you. use a bag of chalk to help me? Sure, have advantage. As you go smearing chalk or you know, kind of dusting chalk Nothing. into the air. Yeah. Investigation. Not forty five. Uh so that would be nineteen, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, these doors seem uh, these doors these walls seem pretty solid. You do not find any secret any evidence of secret passages other than the one you found that led to that uh, destroyed room. Okie doke. Under. Yes. Um, who's standing in front of me? Whoever wants to be. We'll we'll say me. Okay. Say Royce. Well, then I'm gonna just stand behind Royce and tickle the back of his ear, and then just laugh <laughs> like a four year old. As long as it's not my feet, I don't. No, but it's just gonna be right behind your ear, and then I'm gonna switch ears every so often. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one piece of platinum to distract. Shine. It's dark in here. I and I just platinum. deal with it. I don't, I don't give it. Just, <laughs> Nobody's looking up anything, it. so it's dark in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anybody that doesn't have dark vision is, I'm assuming, is just going with our rope leash scenario. Yeah. Wait, so can I use dark vision? <laughs> yes, you still have your dark okay. vision. Okay, cool. Oh, um, I'm gonna do dancing. I'm gonna uh, use dancing lights. Uh, okay. Or torch sized lights. Yeah, just come with that. Sure. Yeah, so you guys are all lit up. Yes. Thanks. Is that what we want, or do we not want that? I mean. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it, that's fine. I can see now. <laughs> I'll take I don't it. Be... For, for the non-dark vision, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um. Fine. I'll I'll lead a little bit ahead and stay now. in the dark, away from the lights. So however far I need to go, I don't know how how much light those things shed. I believe it's twenty um, twenty. It's ten feet of dim light. Okay, so you have to be like twenty feet to be in the darkness. Okay, I'll do twenty five then. Okay. Ten foot radius of dim light. So then, yeah, I will take point. So. I will be second because I do have some special skill that can be assisted. I mean, we're literally a party of D and D players. We all have special skills. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not me at the moment. <laughs> no, you do have a special oh, skill. A very, very, very special, very, very special, special skill. <laughs> this is something special. special. Almost typed Vagic. Um, have we hit that room with the giant stone pressure plate that we put? We never unpressure plated the pressure plate. We could go do that real quick. It was, there was more than one way, right? We just took that. We just took that long hallway. No, we, because... we explored all the. We explored all of the ways of the cross. We just never undid the pressure plate to see what it did. Ah, right. So I mean, we could we could go mage hand all the pressure plates real quick, and or all the bricks off the pressure plate. That's a much safer option than what I had in mind. Let's do that. <laughs> what were you gonna do? <laughs> I was gonna be like, I'm a nimble little halfling. Let me go grab all those bricks and just see what happens. But that's safer. <laughs> yeah, we, have, we have multiple people with mage hand, and Underdark specified the bricks weigh ten pounds. That's the max for mage hand, so mage hand can pick them up. So Sounds we good. could just literally mage hand. I don't know how long it would take to move however many pounds of bricks we put on that pressure plate, but to see what happens when it unclicks. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head back into the room. Well, we're, we never really left the room. But then, yeah, down the hall, down the stairs to the crossroad where the pressure plate is, and we're mm -hmm. going to uh, slowly but surely, all of us that have mage hand is uh, yeeting the bricks off the plate. Sure. Where are you guys standing while you're doing that? <laughs> um, probably by the base of the stairs. Okay. Because what's the range mm -hmm. of mage hand? 30 feet. 30 feet. Yep. So, yeah, I could just, That's yeah, we could fine. just do it. So we'd have to be okay. 30 feet away. Yeah. Sure. Right. So you use mage hand slowly start dragging those bricks off the pressure plate. When, when there's only a couple of bricks left, the pressure plate rises back up with a little click. And to the north, you hear the sound of stone on stone grinding. A secret door. 
Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go take a look-see and peek around the corner without touching the pressure plate. Sure. Yeah. See what we see. Yeah, and you have how many feet of dark vision? Um, enough. 60. 60, all right. Yeah, so you can see the archery where the secret door had been opened. Except instead of opening to, like, you know, more masonry, you can see that it looks to be a hallway beyond that archway now, extending as far as your dark vision goes. So, let's go this way, guys. Go so that way. Um, yeah. All right, so what happens when I step on the pressure plate again? I mean, since we know stepping and unstepping opens the door, does stepping and unstepping close the door, or does it just stay open? So you step on the pressure plate? Yep. The ceiling rapidly descends towards you. Please make a deck save. Fun. Yeah, you guys all see this stone piston just, just come slamming down towards him. Uh, hey. Oh All right. Well, you nice. nimbly step out of the way as it slams down with a loud, loud uh, uh, like a clash sound. You hear the sound of a bit of like stone settling and it slowly starts to ratchet up. The bricks that had been on there have been reduced to powder. <laughs> Fun. I'm glad I checked before we all just started walking across it. <laughs> uh. I mean, that'd yeah, be I, fine, I mean, but... in all reality, under I would have been like putting one foot on the pressure plate while staying off of it with my other and leaning forward until it clicked. What if I wanted to just blatantly walk onto it? But that's fine. I understand. Good. No, 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 no. Being cautious is fine. Yep. And it still came down very rapidly. Like think like uh, a okay. gravity drop of you know like a hundred ton block of stone. Okay, wow. gotcha. Yeah, that so would have lost sense. a couple toes, probably. You would have lost everything below, like halfway down your thigh on that leg. Fun. I've always wanted to have a hop. All right. So, is it ratcheting slowly enough that we could all maneuver through the opening before it comes back down? Are you touching the pressure plate when you do that? Hmm. Mm. We should be able to just zip around the corner without touching it if we like lean over and step right, like. Don't For medium-sized creatures, that is that is not a problem. Small-sized mm, creatures so might have an issue, and they would need to make acrobatics checks to do so. I'm good at that. Could, and couldn't we just? Couldn't we just toss them? Yeah. Let me roll. Let me roll. <laughs> Wait. So what's considered a medium? Small creatures are halfling, gnomes, and dwarves. I got this. I'm rolling. Dwarves were medium. Yeah. Doors are medium? I thought yeah. they were. Are they? I'm going I'm going down right now to check. What are turtle people? Uh, turtle dwarves. people are medium. Oh uh, yeah, no, dwarves are medium. Oh, okay. Medium. Then it's just gnomes nice. and halflings. Yeah, they're yeah. Dwarves are stocky enough, that's I think why. Uh, they have white okay. shoulders. Yeah, so most of you guys you know, kinda of hop across that corner just fine. Royce, however, it has a bit of an issue. Uh Royce, I need a deck save from you. <laughs> He touched the pressure plate, didn't you? He has not yet touched the pressure plate. This deck save oh. is to see if he touches the pressure plate. Uh, see if I can get back-to-back -back shit rolls, or if I can actually roll okay. Come yeah. on. Wait, whoops. Sorry, I meant to mute. <laughs> Come on. I'm All you right, you yeah. Roll. Yeah, no yeah. So, so it's like a few <laughs> seconds there where Royce is like, you know, pinwheeling with his arms. And he manages to catch himself and kind of flop forward into the northern hallway without pushing on the pressure plate. Success. Royce, you know I'm going to type bless you before all of your rolls now. You have failed successfully. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, okay, everybody made it then, and then the other... Do we have any other small things, or no? I think it was just Royce. Everybody else is medium. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, Royce is a halfling. Do we still have Gardoth with us? Just checking. Yeah, I mean, he could, he could okay. just hover or wait. <laughs> yeah, I'll Or just, just you know, walk across and probably just punch the column of stone. <laughs> <laughs> Explodes. Alright, okay. but yeah, head through that secret archway. You see a hallway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that light still on, by the way? Yes. Okay. 
And then are you still 25 feet above the party? Or from, from I the wouldn't party? have changed the marching order for any reason, so... Okay, once so we got across, 20. once we dealt with the issue, we would have resumed that marching order. Okay. So, yeah, unless, unless we're going to change the marching order, that's what the marching order is. Okay, uh, let's do this then. <laughs> let's go ahead and do a investigation and do the same thing with kind of filling for anything. Good. Where are you? I'm in that hallway. Mm -hmm. But I'm behind you. You're 25 feet up, but I'm just kind of getting the middle section. Unless you're checking as you go. Passively, yeah. I'm not I'm not checking every inch of wall, but as right. I'm walking, yeah, I'm not just you I mean we just we, we already found a secret doorway. That's where we're headed. Okay, right never mind. Now. Then, then yeah, screw that. Like we okay. we've explored this entire we haven't gotten to the secret hallway yet. Like we're oh. we're getting up to it right now. Cool. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. Will that be it? All right, yeah, so if Rex is ahead of you guys by about 20 feet or so, he would be at this archway with the secret door he had opened that previously had a, well, looked to be, you know, fake out masonry wall, but was in fact being closed by the pressure plate. Interesting. All right, so let us resume exploring. Okay. I'm going to walk forward 10 feet. And to tap the ground with my stick. All right, you start tapping the ground with your stick as you begin moving forward. You can see that this hallway goes forward about 60 feet, ending with a dead end and a closed wooden door to the right. Uh, I'm assuming you're grabbing a map of that. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Hang on, I have to murder a cat real quick. Okay. <laughs> Over here. Oh. Fucker. Was hmm. are you done? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, but yeah, eventually, Royce, tapping your stick, you would get to this closed wooden door. Uh, no traps Oops. seem to have triggered when you did that. Party following behind you 25 feet has also not hit by any traps or anything. Bummer. I mean, good. <laughs> so, all right, and let's open the door, not too loudly, but not too cautiously. Okay. You swing the door open. So going into a friend's fridge to get food, just casual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just kind of casually open it, revealing another hallway that seems to go 30 feet to the east, to a dead end, but this time a pair of double wooden doors on the north at the end. Yeah. What's that? Double. Right? Big doors always mean big fight. Nah, we didn't find any oh. health yet. You know what they yeah. say about rooms with big doors? They're compensating for low ceilings? That's right. And all right, doors let's out. um, let's take a little, little bit of a cautious approach to the um. Actually, I'm gonna hang on. Um, Libra. turtles don't have dark vision, so he's useless. Yeah, what the heck? Go grab the rogue and push him to the front of the line, and be like, "All right, go go check that door out since you want to do shit." <laughs> I do exactly as he says. <laughs> okay, give me an investigation check as you start checking Ooh. over these double doors. Yep. So does that mean the whole party's kind of moved up with there's no more gap? Dude, you're... Ow. <laughs> you don't see shit. don't see shit. <laughs> yep, there, there's some uh, closed there. wooden doors. Rather plain, there's a knob on the front. Like, you could just pull it open. Uh, he's just standing up there, like, like looking really closely at the hinges, because if he's doing that, I'm just going to go up there and grab him and be like, go back in the line. <laughs> the hinges... I'm just going to grab yeah. sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a look at these things. Oh, I have a question in. 
Sure, make an investigation check then. Oh, much better. Yep, they are a set of double wooden doors. Oh, All right. is there a keyhole or anything or no? No, there's just like a knob. Too many people talking. Under Dark and I are talking right now. I'm sorry. All right. Um. Then I guess I'll just open them. Okay. You twist the knob, and as you're kind of like pulling the door open, you feel like a like a like a help like force on the doors, like a and you hear a wind blow, like <laughs> as you open the doors. Oh. And I need everybody to make Constitution saving throws. Poison. No. Okay. No. Okay. Are there any elves in the party? Ah, sleeping gas. Um, Elrond's a half elf, but he's not here. Yeah, right. Elrond's half elf, so I don't think he gets okay. the sleeping. Yeah, gas. it's it's a saving throw versus unconsciousness. Ah, because you a nat twenty. Nice. Yo, I don't see a nat twenty. I did. I don't. I don't see I it. I rolled it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm not looking at it. Reroller didn't happen. Yeah. Roll no. again and prove it. <laughs> I mean, good rolls across the board. Yeah. Except Other Steve. than Mike and Steve. But he's but dead weight right now, anyway. Yeah, so Michelangelo and Steve just fall unconscious. <laughs> nice. The rest of you feel the sulfuric effects of this gas, um, but you're able to just keep awake. All right. Uh, what's the breathing time in a bag of holding again? Five minutes per creature, cutting for every creature in there, I think. So we can stick them in there um, for two and a half minutes. Okay. Andrew, can I tell what this what this was? Like, was this magical or um, like a gas of some sort? Make an arcana check. I mean, I will. You you were standing nearby and you heard him describe the door, correct? Yeah, I know, but... Anybody else hear the song, too? Uh, bag of Holding is number of creatures divided, or ten divided by the number of creatures. Yes. Oh, so five yes, minutes. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so we can stick them in there for five minutes and carry them around for a little bit. Anybody have an Apple Watch? Yeah. Along? All Ooh. right. So... Or that's your arcana check, the 15? Yeah. All right, yeah. You're pretty sure this was just, like, knockout sleeping gas. And it could knock someone out for anywhere from five minutes to an hour. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking more of the inconvenience of of carrying them around. Do not put us in a bag of holding. Sounds like fun. You're unconscious. You can't make that choice. Okay, Do well, I, I, have, holding, we already lost what, you know, I have a fucking okay. magical shit. You can't, what? No, okay, hang on. You <laughs> are unconscious. Okay. Alright, do what you want. And retarded. And you can't talk to you. <laughs> and you can't talk <laughs> Hey. I would like to play at some point tonight, gentlemen. Come on. Is there any <laughs> chance that you guys could just shove me? Put me on someone's back that way, like a backpack, a shell backpack. Could we just have Gargoth carry them under dark? It'd be a little <laughs> bit easier than the bag of holding math. Can he carry two small or medium sized creatures? He says he could, but what's in it for him? What do you want? I recall you would you have a magic ring. I'd be up to Royce. Oh, that's oh. his magic ring. He he can have it. I give it to him. Okay. He grabs Steve and Michelangelo and she's like, then I shall carry them for now. Sweet. Thanks, bud. Can Love you. Back ride. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's sort of, there you go, Steve. You're not in the bag of holding. You're being carried by a uh, gargantuan demon. Or devil. One of the two. I always forget. Devil. Devil. But anyway... All right, so proceeding through the um, gaseous room. What do we see when we open the door now that that's settled? Oh, it was colorless gas. Well, I meant 
it's a hallway part of this going yeah, part of the 40 feet settled. to the north with another pair of closed double wooden doors to the west at the end. Okay, um, then I guess we'll just take a walk see in there. Split the party. You know why you're not allowed to make decisions? It was a joke. No. Can I go this way? Yes. Yes, George. We go this way. Okay. So you guys walk to the end of this? Am I hearing that right? Yep. All right. Yeah, you walk to the end of it. Nothing happens. Okie doke. And then, uh, yeah, just a quick look at the uh, doors again. Sure. Any... Make an investigation oh. check. My turn. They are wooden doors. There is knob. Can I check for traps? Sure. Make an investigation check. Just kind of shove Rex aside, like, you know, quickly checking the door for traps. Yeah. Rex. I was admiring the hinges. Yeah. Well, Iyer, as you're examining this door, you see that the, this door, similar to the previous doors, as you realized after the fact, are in fact sealed to be airtight. Mm. Okay. Though you do not find any otherwise um, trap mechanisms or anything like that attached to the doors. Just they're sealed right. like tight against gas. Okay. Um, yeah, you can go ahead, Rex. You can, you can do whatever you want. Um, all right, so... Um, There's then something will pass out, so... Everybody just hold their breath real quick. Mm -hmm. Preemptive preventation of uh, if there's more sleeping gas behind door number two. Will that work under? Maybe sure, you can hold, hold your breath. breath for a little bit. You can hold your breath, yeah. All right. So uh, once everybody is, uh, you know, synced up, <laughs> yep. Everybody, hold your breath, and I'll pop the door. Okay, you pop the door. This one opening inward into the room, and as you kind of, again, as you're pushing the door open, you feel like a bit of force. This time, go in like a hissing sound. Pulling the doors even further open away from you. Oh, so that room was oh, sealed to hold the gas in. Mm -hmm. And as you look around, th this uh, room is a 20 by 20 room. Though curiously, there is a, a bit of a rectangular divot in the floor 10 feet in front of you to the west of the door. Does it kind of look like where an altar used to be or something like that? Something uh, that? it look... Make a, uh... Uh, I, I almost said make a dungeoneering check. Um... <laughs> old man. Make a perception <laughs> check. Oh. Oh, no. My weakness. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't have a skill monkey, so I don't have perception and uh, investigation spiked up. Yeah. Ah, no, it just looks like a bit of broken floor. You have no idea what, what happened. Nah. Um, could you say it is um made of stone and historical? Yes, I would. Does somebody have something about that? So yeah, maybe I'm kidding. I could... Um... Do a history check of the stone. Advantage. With dwarf with stone cunning. <laughs> yes, if you do have a dwarf with stone cunning, this would be an appropriate place to use it. All right. Um, double proficiency, so plus eight. Mm -hmm. I believe this will just be a history check with your double proficiency. Yep. yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, that's how you use the stone cutting, just so you know. Ire. Fuck off. <laughs> so yeah, you're looking at this, and, and you can tell this is old stone. It's been broken before. Like this is like this has occurred in several st stages, and you can tell that while it is, you know, it's got like a curve to the divot, um, so that 
like there's like a, a center line going north south, and then it kind of rolls out to the surface. Am I explaining myself well? Concave or convex? It is concave. Okie doke. I suppose I should specify. <laughs> so it humps up towards us? Or it curves oh. down into the ground? Curves down into the ground. Ah, okay. As in the floor has it, been destroyed. Yeah, in my mind, that would be convex. Because <laughs> the convex lens curves in. Yeah, I always get those two terms mixed up. Oh, well. Yeah. I always think Vex and V, and V is curved in. That's how I do it. Um, all right. Um, tell you what, I or you have the better investigation overall. So why don't you, uh, why don't you take over looking around? Okay. Um, See what you can out. figure out. Because I have to go murder both of my animals now. Fair enough. Looking around the room, uh, did I notice anything, any, anything specific, anything religious or other uh, like ceremonial things about the room? Sure, no. make an investigation check as you look for ceremonial objects and other such indication. So, yeah, you're looking around the room, and, you know, the walls are plain, as is the floor, but as you're looking at the ceiling, you notice that directly over this divot on the ceiling, there appears to be some writing shallowly carved into the ceiling. But it's small, and you think that you know, you'd have to get like right under it to read it. I might have a call for that. No, never mind. Um, so, sorry, I missed that because it sounded like I had a call. Um, so, I had to stand in the center for what? So, you know, the room seems pretty devoid of any decoration. Except mm. for the ceiling directly above this divot in the ground. Mm. Except that it looks like there are some small lettering scratched into the ceiling directly above this divot. But it is so small, you can't really read it in an angle. You have to get, like, right under it in close-up. Um... Could I coerce our a special friend who has wings uh, to get me up there? I'm just I'm just picturing the bug walking up to the cleric and flapping his wings and po- flapping his arms and or legs or whatever they are and pointing yeah. at the ceiling. I <laughs> I grab him and I just toss him up in the air. <laughs> oh my god. Fair enough. Um, hey, Rick. Um, wait, you're short too. Oh, How tall we is have... the ceiling? Well, Gargoth's hands are full. And... How tall is the ceiling? The ceiling is ten feet tall. Ten feet tall? Okay. It's like six um, foot. The walls are mason? Yes. Couldn't we put a pop- couple of um, pittens in? Crisscross? What's that? Someone just lift me up. Well, yeah, our only cool. flying person is incapacitated right now because he's sleeping. Um, but I was going to say, just throw some pittons crisscross right, and then right, just right. pull Royce up since he's the smallest and lightest. And Royce can get up there and read it, but then he doesn't have to be on the floor directly below it in case there is some sort of nefariousness with the pit. Do it. Is that all right, Under? Yeah, you guys can, but... yeah, you can do, take some time, but you can do that. I died. I'm alive. Hello. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So you guys spend in the wall. Yeah. The pulley system. Pull him up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he can get up there without being, you know, touching the obvious nefarious pit that we don't want to step inside because we found out mm-hmm. what happens when we step on things. What? Stuff, stuff happens. Mm-hmm. Not fun stuff. All right. All right. So you're. Um, so yeah, you kind of. Hoist yourself underneath this uh, part of the ceiling. So, sorry, who's doing that? Who's hoisting themselves under it? Uh, we're, we're all hoisting Royce since he's the lightest. Yeah. Okay. All right, Royce, uh, what languages do you read? 
halfling, and common. Okay. <laughs> well, this is neither of those languages. Can I make a check to see if I can at least recognize what language it is? Sure, make a history check. Hey. Let's see what I... <laughs> it's a check that we very rarely use, so none of us even know what we have for the role. <laughs> All right, this looks to be written in Draconic. <clears throat> Don't know no that. fucking way. Does, any, does anybody speak Draconic? Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll hoist him down, and then I'll get back. I'll I'll tie into the pulley system, and we'll pull me up there then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It it uh it is a line that reads emergency release lever. Where's the lever? You do not see a lever in evidence, but you do notice that like the section that this is written in in, in the stone does not look quite right. In fact, it looks almost like it's plaster. <laughs> oh my god. We all did it. <laughs> I was first. You all copied me. Oh. But anyway. Sorry, Andrew, I was distracted. What did you say? I said, yeah, but as you're looking at it, you would realize that the way it's carved into stone isn't quite right. In fact, it looks more like it's been scratched into plaster. Oh, okay. Um, can I uh, just take uh, the butt of a knife and smack it against the uh, the scratching? You absolutely can. And the plast the thin plaster layer cracks and crumbles, revealing a small, elongated hollow with a lever. All right. Uh, then I will. Uh, by the way, the amount of time that's passed has our uh, our two sleepy friends woken up, or are they still unconscious? It has been fifteen minutes. They have not woken up. All right. Perfect. Then I will suggest to the rest of the party, hey, scooch back. I'm going to pull this lever here. Okay. So if everybody wants to uh, like so, tie me off somewhere so I can stay up in the air, and then we'll... Uh, so And then like, what, everyone's going out in the hallway? Yeah, just like scooch out in the hallway and then stare at me through the doorway. Um, I think I'm going to hang out in the room with you. I'll, I'll stay and hold you up. Better yet. Can I ready a Misty Step? If I don't need it or use it and burn the spell slot. Oh, I'll, oh, how about this? Already a dimension door. Or do I have to be You would have to be next so, to me to use it. So, generally that. speaking, ready to actions only applies in initiative. Yeah, that's why I'm asking if, it, you know, if I can, you know, prepare the spell before I pull a lever. And then if I don't, you know, choose to use it, I'd still burn the spell slot up. But if something happens, I would have it to fire off instant. If that makes sense. Well... So sure. within five feet, and I'm six foot into ten foot ceiling, so I'm within five feet of you. So you're gonna yeah, be like right up. So he wants to be right up under you as a yeah. backup, is what it sounds like. Yeah. I don't. So I no, I don't need it. I don't need a backup. You're fine. Just go out in the hall okay. with everybody else. There's, we don't need more people in the room in case bad shit happens. I, I'm fine with the okay. misty step. Under dark agreed to me using it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. All right, so, so you guys all go out in the hallway. Yep. You you know start holding that misty step. Mm-hmm. Rex's eyes go blue, his voice turns into Martin the Martian. And he pulls the lever. Right, you pull the lever. You guys all hear this you know, loud stone on stone sliding as the ceiling begins to fall out towards you, Rex. Right, I'm going to fire that misty step off and go towards the doorway. Alright, you fire the misty step off, appearing in that hallway. As you see this large, ten foot tall stone cylinder drop into that divot. Perfect. And then you hear the sound of a steam engine firing, and you guys should roll initiative. Woo! Can I re-roll that one, please, Under? Sure. Oh, no. I, I'm liking the initiative so far, Under Dark. <laughs> Jesus, guys. Get it together, fuck. Yeah, the initiative did, doesn't really matter that much. The only one that matters for is Michael. Because of his assassin thing. I'm gonna murder that cat. I get advantage on initiative in case you're about to ask Hunter. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna kill that pussy? Is that what you said? <laughs> I mean, 
That was Sunday, <sighs> but it was delicious. Right, I'm going to let my dog back in before we start this shit show. Who let the dog out? Oh, shut up. I hate you. Who? Who? Yeah. Who? 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 <laughs> <laughs> clip that. Under, I'm, I'm gonna play your stream up and clip that. <laughs> I hate it. It'll be like the only clip you have. <laughs> All right, George. You see the stone cylinder drop down into the floor with a loud crash. What do you do? I check. All right. Um, I'm gonna do what a dumb barbarian can. Just gonna stand there and watch it. Okay. Because I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like friend. It doesn't look like foe to me right now. It looks like a stone cylinder that dropped out of the ceiling. Exactly. So I have no idea. So I'm just going to stand here. I would take okay. the dodge action, actually. All right, you take the dodge action. As you... Uh, okay, so we're going to DM2. You hear the sound of, like, a hiss of steam. And you begin seeing and feeling the rumbling as you kind of... As you begin seeing some steam come out the round ends of the cylinder. And it begins vibrating. You can feel it almost like a mini earthquake in the ground. At this point, uh, your your devil friend has reached the double doors to the south and is turning the corner with your two compatriots. Rex. What do you do? You are standing, looking through these double doors at this stone cylinder with that's rumbling with steam coming out the sides. Um, well, I'm probably just going to, um, actually, yeah, I will, I will use, uh, my fifth level spell slot. And, um, wait, hang on, hang on. Ten pounds. I'm I'm reading anime object to see what what the the weight categories is for those bricks. Ah, uh, they're probably small. It's not li- they're small. Small. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't list the specific weight. It correct. Small. It doesn't. It's basically by my discretion, and I'm saying they're small. Okay, small is fun. So I can have. Oh, so small and tiny are both. I can have up to ten. Okay. Well, then I will animate all of the bricks. Okay. And You're... start launching them at the uh, the stone column. Sure. Go ahead and have them all make their attack rolls as they fly over, which would be plus six. Yep. Um, plus six, D eight, plus two. Okay. I think I did that right. Uh, you, you did do that right. One hit. One hit. Oof. All right. Uh, That's always fun. One hit. One hit the pillar? Yeah, he attacked this stone cylinder that had fallen from the ceiling, and one of them hit it. Go ahead and roll the damage. Plus two. There was no other obvious hostile... Just to clarify, because I was no, cutting in and out. No, I, I correct. You know, I'm shocked only one hit. Yeah, 23. 15s were low, so... Those were low rolls. Right. Uh, I keep forgetting the fucking damage. There's D8 plus 2? Yeah, D8 plus 2. Smash. Alright, yeah, it hits it. You hear a loud, solid crack. And it appears to have no effect on the cylinder. 
Wonderful. All right. Well, then I will call my bricks back over to me and uh, wait. No, you won't. The order to move and attack was your bonus action. Okay. Right? I think that's how it works. Uh, let me just double check that. I, I don't want to deprive you of your ability to do this. Uh, you decide what action this creature will take and where it will move. Where we're we'll during your next turn, or you can issue a general command. Okay, yeah, never mind. You, yeah, you can call him back. Sorry. Yeah, so I, I, mean, I was just looking at the last one. No, command. Like hover, hover around me like, uh, well, Magneto's marbles. Absolutely. And you're just going to stand there? I'll probably move back a little bit. How far? Um... Well, I'll keep it in a uh, line of sight. So, so you're not the, moving. Because if you go south, any you'll lose line of sight because it's in the room and you're in the hallway. You're looking through the Oh, door yeah, I just it. meant to the back of the hallway, essentially, because it's 10 foot wide. Yeah, okay. I got you. All yep, right. That's all I can really do. Okay. Royce, do you do anything? Where Where am I on this map? Uh, you're probably in that same end of the hallway looking through the doors at the stone cylinder. Okay. Um, And... Rex, your bricks just do, like, bludgeoning damage or something? That is yeah, correct. It's... They would do bludgeoning damage. Yeah, it wouldn't classify as magical at all, so... Okay. Correct. I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll attack this pillar four times with my Radiant Sunbolt. Alright, roll to hit. One hit. What? Oh. The and 26 hits it. 22. 21 or 22 AC, boys. Oh my god. Oh no. Sorry, I didn't see the 26. Yeah, so it's uh, 23 AC. You take a little bit of a chip out of it. Oh my god. Um, uh, can I just ask Gargoth to try to destroy this thing? You look around the corner, like you see Garoth already turning the corner to the south. I thought I told you that when initiative was starting. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Fuck. Then can I just move? Follow Gargoth, I guess. Sure. How far do you move? Uh, I have oh thirty-five. All right, that would put yeah. you like right up to those double, like just five feet away from those double doors to the south. Uh, I have forty feet of movement. Okay, that would put you just through, like just through them at them, like right behind Gargoth. Okay, yeah, I'll uh, I'll just go there then. I don't think there's any taking this. Okay, Ire. Uh, I think I'm gonna cast a level five fireball. Yes, burn the stones. Okay, fine. When you put it that I'm way, I'm just kidding. Do it. Do it. It's fine. I was making uh, a joke. Uh, level five fireball. Uh, DC is uh, sixteen. Ooh. Dexate. The stone looks real dexate. The stone failed. Go ahead and roll your fire damage. Oh, I'll fire damage. Yeah. Yes, of the steam powered stone cylinder. Please roll your fire yeah. damage. Yeah. <sighs> well, that was a waste of a fifth level spell slot. Please tell me you don't have shatter, Bob. I do have shatter. You should read what Shatter does. Well, he should roll the fire damage for his fireball, because that's yeah. what he did this turn. He can read fire. Yeah. He can read Shatter oh, between turns. Like, whoops. I'll re-roll that because of D8s. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, the fire clears. You can see it's charred. And a little more damage, but it does not appear that the fire was especially effective against it. Anything else, Iron? Um, I'm going to bonus action blade song. Okay. And that, you know what? I'm going to move into the room. Okay. Are you like getting like right in front of this thing? Because it's only 10 Is feet it away. like the entire room? No, it, it's, a, it's like a 10 by 10. It's like 10 feet wide, 10 feet tall. Cylinder on its side. You know, the circular ends, you can see like some like what look to be like real tight brass vents. Steam pouring out of them. Hmm. I want to move to its side. Okay. Like, but with some distance. 
between it. Probably like 10 feet. Oh, well, I guess I probably don't have that much movement speed. I have 35 feet of movement speed. Okay, I mean, that would be, that could put you anywhere in the room from where you start. Okay, I'm going to go in the far left, or the far southwest corner. All right, you go to the far southwest corner. That's my turn. Okay, I don't know why I put Royce in the initiative twice. I don't mind, I'll go again. Uh, the question is, who did I skip? Who did I mean to put in at five? It was I rerolled a one. Oh, that's why, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, no, you don't get another turn. We'll go with that initiative, then. That works better. Yeah. Alrighty. This guy. Oh dear. It begins rolling forward. So, I right, you're in the room and you just start see, you see it move forward to that room through the doors and into the first 10 by 10 square that I believe contains um Royce and Rex, yes? I back though. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, next to Gargoth. Oh sorry, Royce hey, next to Gargoth. So, yeah, so I am in that 10 by 10 square. That is correct. You are in that 10 by 10 square. Uh, Steve and George being carried by him. So yeah, it's just you, Rex. Woo! Yeah, so it like rolls forward towards you as you kind of backed up. It stops as it like just touches the end of that of that floor, and like you're like crouched down to avoid getting hit by this thing. As it then rotates to face south and begins rolling down the hall. So I managed to just, you know, like, duck into a corner while it was moving around. It is the entire width of the hallway. You are crushed underneath and are killed. You are turned into chunky salsa. Huh. As it rolls, and Royce, you feel it tickling your back. It is. It ends up stopping right behind you on that roll. Dope. Dope. George. What did George do? Oh, sorry, he just stood there. Sorry, George. Uh, yeah, I took the dodge action. Yep, you also got crushed and are dead. Wait, what? You got, you are crushed into chunky salsa by this multi-hundred ton stone cylinder which rolled over you like a tractor. Okay. Alright. Fantastic. Um, I just want to specify, I couldn't have yeah. stood in the corner while it was turning the corner. If I had backed up, I would have backed into the corner so I could still see into the center of the room. And it turned the corner and I went to survive that. Correct. It would have it would have ended up knocking you forward as it then rolled over you. Maybe your like lower legs would have survived then. Okay. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah, so like everything like, above the knee is just this red chunky paste. <laughs> and then and then there's like your lower leg, your socks and your boots, and that's it. Works for me. I'm so glad I've gotten went into the See, room. Uh, Michael Michelangelo, you're so hot. Glad I'm Mikey, you're being up static, just so you know. Okay, so let's see. George, crushed. Uh, Steam's already active. Rex, crushed. Amazing. Royce, this thing's right behind you. Um, you, you can see Gargoth is like going like full speed ahead around that corner in front of you, carrying your yep. two friends. I'll take the. Can I take the dash action and move eighty as far as I can in the same direction that Gargoth is going? Absolutely. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Okay. So let's see. That would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I would get you just past an archway into the secret hall. Okay. Can I actually uh, use a use a key point to dash one more time to get as far as I possibly can? Sure. How far more would that be? Uh, 40 more feet. So Alright, that would put you right in front of the pressure plate. Without touching it? Without touching it. Like, you're like you're at the square right in front of it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll be right okay. there. And I'll just say, Gargoth, if you can do anything, please do something. I'll give you two soul coins. And, uh, I'm just gonna sit there. Yeah. Gargoth, when, when you say that, Holds up, stops beside you and holds out a hand. I take it. 
He shakes your hand off and holds out a hand looking at you expectantly. Oh, yeah, yeah, I give him the soul coin. Excellent. He grabs you by the front of your shirt. Do you resist? Nope. He chucks you south across the uh, pressure plate without touching it. He then flaps his wings and lands next to you on, on the southern side. He looks at you and looks meaningfully at the ceiling above the checkpoint and the pressure plate in front of you, between you and this roller. Implying I need to touch the pressure plate? No, implying he's, he's basically saying, if it's tracking us, it's going to come south, hit the pressure plate, and get destroyed by the giant piston above it. Oh. At the very it. least, it will, it'll act as a brake. God, he's smart. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, friend. He pockets the two soul coins and smiles at you. So, Iyer, yeah, you're in his room. Billow of steam, this thing rolls out, crushing two of your comrades, and then begins rolling south. Um, can I see them? <laughs> uh, your dead friends? Yes, you can see the pile of goo and the two lower legs that remains of them. Uh, All of their okay. mundane equipment was destroyed. Uh, including including the bag of holding? No, only mundane equipment was destroyed. Oh, the ma no, magical no, equipment no, requires no, a no, bit no. more effort. Yeah, magical equipment gonna, requires a bit more effort to destroy than that. Yeah, I'm going to get grab all their magical items. Okay. My entire inventory is in the bag of holding because it can fit right now. <laughs> well, that's what, the only reason I was asking is because I considered the bag of holding destroyed and it has Bell's Recall token in it. So I was like, the party won't be able to get back without that fucking token. <laughs> I wasn't concerned about Rex surviving. It was the fucking recall token I was concerned about. Yeah, no, no, this is, this is just like, this was just mundane crushing, just, you know, unsurvivable amounts of it. You were reduced to chunky salsa. It would not destroy a magic item. Okay, so... Yeah. Um, I'm just okay, then I feel less bad. Yeah. So, so uh, Ira, what do you do? You should grab all their equipment. Uh, grab all the equipment that I have. All the all the equipment that's left. That's not chunky salsa. Um, and then, I mean, I'm probably gonna just head in the opposite direction of wherever that's going. So, do well, I see any doors in the room? No, you do not. Just the cavity that this dropped out of in the ceiling. Oh, okay. Is there like more? Like we could go up. You you go and you look up into the ceiling. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You can see some what look to be brass like gear tracks on either side of it, and you can see is another cylinder up there slowly lowering down. Oh my god! How do I turn this off? Well, that would be for you to decide how you wish to approach that. Um, I want to cast a level 4 Shatter up there. I don't know, man. Sure. Okay. Um, I believe they have disadvantage on the con save for that. Yo, that's awesome. It's a, they're big rocks. They, they have plenty of constitution. Yeah. Yeah, they, they pass. Which I believe is for half. Half. Oh. Mm-hmm. But Shatter does double damage to inanimate objects, right? It does. So regular damage then. Okay. Just roll. Just roll the damage it says, and then we okay. will have the number and then double the number. Because D and D math. Because D and D math. Because D and D. Okay. Better not be odd, Bob. Yeah, roll know, an even right? number for fuck's sake. I'm trying. Thing are five D. Eight. So 44. There we then go. Two. Nope, you have it first. Yep, so you uh, have it to 11, 11, and then you double it to 22. Yeah. All right, so your shatter goes off up there. Wrecking, you know, doing some damage to the stone cylinder, but also wrecking those gear tracks that they were being lowered with. And you hear this god-awful grinding metallic sound like like, if you've ever seen someone, like, learning how to drive a stick shift, and they only, like, have to oh, press the clutch, yeah. then throw it into fourth, and then push all the way down on the gas, that's what it sounds like. Okay. As, as, the, as you then hear a pop.
pop, a hiss, and the entire area up there is just obscured with steam. You're pretty sure you broke whatever mechanism was lowering that, that down. Oh, I feel better about this. Um, and then I guess uh, that'll be my turn, I guess. Okay. This guy. Oops. Should have been times 10, so it moves 20 feet. So it slowly rolls to the south, turns, rolls slowly more. Uh, let's see here. So, Roy, share on the other side of this pressure plate with Gargoth. Uh, do you do anything? Um, can I just... What's, like, beyond... Is it just, like, more of the room? Beyond what? Like, in, in the same direction that we were running? To the south is a... Like, 60 feet away is a false door. One that you'd opened up to a, a another wall. I'll, I, yeah, I'll just hang out here for now. Okay. I'll move, can I move, can I move like 30 feet backwards? Sure. Further away from the pressure plate? Mm-hmm. I'll do that, yeah. Okay. And okay, can I ready, uh, ready an attack? Sure. You can ready an attack? Yeah. In the interest of speeding this up, because this will be several rounds as this cylinder, you see it emerge, rotate, and begin rolling to the south. I, are you doing anything important at this point? No. Okay. I'm because just rolling chilling. slowly to oh the God, south. Dead. Yeah. Rolling slowly to the south, passing through the uh, secret passage. It's kind of blasting through some of the uh, archway there. As it then rolls on to the pressure plate. The cylinder immediately pushing down on it, stopping it dead in its tracks. And you hear the sound of stone on stone grinding as cracks in the cylinder begin to form. As it is then crushed, and with an explosion of steam and rock, it is absolutely pulverized by this trap. I, I see it so clearly, what just happened. As the pis the piston begins raising back up, you can see the the top of the like the piston surface has a divot similar to what was on the floor in that room before, from the force it exerted. The pressure plate looks fine. That makes sense. You can also see just on the other side of that of the former secret archway that the floor there that that the stone had rolled over had cracked and fallen away, forming a five-by-five five square in the middle of the floor. Under, would I hear this commotion? Yes, you would have heard the loud, incredibly loud explosion of the cylinder. Yeah. Are, we, are we still on initiative? You guys are basically out of initiative. Okay. Yeah, can I go up to the, uh, to the, to the yeah, hole? That that sure. Sure. Yeah, you can yeah, absolutely go up to the hole. Ire kind of joins you. You guys get there at about the same time. As you look into this secret trap door that had been cracked open by the weight of the cylinder, you see a small set of spiral stairs descending down. Can we, uh, could you say a quick little prayer? Pour out some 40s for <clears throat> the boys. Yeah. Specifically yeah. Rex, who, who I'd like to pour. Can I can I ask uh, Ira if it's okay to pull out some of the whiskey that Rex would have had on him and pour a little bit out for him? I'm looking to see how much whiskey's left. Oh, yeah, there's there's a few bottles left. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll pour some out. Yeah, we'll pour one of the bottles out and just say for Rex. Mm -hmm. All right, there's, there's nine <laughs> full <laughs> bottles of whiskey <laughs> in the bag of holding. <laughs> you guys can each <laughs> take <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm literally gonna wake up. What happened to you guys? And then thirty. <laughs> then a little bit of time passes. You do that and say your prayer. 30 minutes have now passed since you first opened that door to the sleeping gas chamber. And Steve and Michelangelo reawaken. Oh, Gargoth drops them once they get awake. Oh, okay. So here's the thing. Steve. Hey, what happened to the other guys? There's, there's, there's do, you want some chips and, do you want some chips and salsa? <laughs> if if you're offering... Fresh butter noodles, we got some spaghetti sauce. 
I I tell I just I tell um I tell Rec or uh uh Michelangelo and and Steve what happened. Oh, shit. Fill them in. We're now pavement pizza. Damn. Hey, pizza. El Elron's really rip pepper, 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 pepper. Yeah, the hell, how did El Elron fare in all this? He just isn't he, he ran for it. Just, he followed Gargoth when he ran for it. Oh, uh, fair enough. Um, yeah, he, so he's still so alive. Decide. We need him to play a sad tune. <laughs> uh, I think it's. I say we just keep pushing forward, and we. Yeah, let's go I'll down there. Yeah, all I can do. Yeah, I'll light a torch. There it is. I'll hope it's on. <laughs> no, I know. Um, Roy, I guess yeah, I'll approach it fine. I was gonna say I have my uh, dancing lights too for next time too. That's fine. Yeah, I'll just light a torch and I'll, I'll take the lead as we we walk down the. Wait, the who has dark vision in this party? Jake or no one anymore? <laughs> oh, so we're all Jake does. blind. Oh, Jake, Jake does. Has true sight. Yeah, but he's retarded. So yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I think Elrond is the only like normal, non fucked up, dark vision alive <laughs> character. Correct. Just send the retard up. Yeah. He's. They the know I just of, like oh, sources. Yeah. I guys, so. I know I just took a nap, but I could really use a rest. You can't talk. Ding dong, ding dong, he, ding dong. He can communicate, kind of. He can, you know, put two it's hands like, up against like, his oops, face and point at the ground. Yeah, you just put two hands mm -hmm. up next to his face, you know, palm to palm, and hit <sighs> the ground. Royce, Royce, what do you think? Do you wait? Why do you need a rest? Sleep. I don't. I don't know. Uh, oh, I need to recover. Uh, you know what? I'll just reuse arcane recovery. Spell slots back. Is anybody's hit points down at all? No. No. Mine are. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't see why we need to take points. I don't see a reason why we need to take one either. Oh, yeah. I do. I know why he wants to. So that way I can ready uh, greater restoration. Uh, yeah. Tough titties. I was going to say, I mean, we're probably going to go to a long rest again. Right. Yeah. You are. We'll walk down the stairs. Also, yeah, whoever's pythons those were should mark them off because you guys have not recovered them. They're still in the room ceiling over there. What did we not recover? Oh, the okay. Pythons. Oh. Yeah. Pythons are gone. If, if they weren't in your equipment, they got smashed. That's yeah. Fine. Okay. So that'd be two or well, oh, what would you say? Four Pythons, probably two, two yeah. or four. Four. So, so six remaining. I'll resend you a screenshot. I. The room is was also twenty broken. feet. So, where's the rest of my rope? I thought somebody gave me a bunch of rope. Yeah, I gave you like fifty. Broke. Oh, okay, yeah. I never wrote it down then. Would the would the scroll okay. be broken too? Mm -hmm. Those are magical. Mm -hmm. The magical. what? Mm -hmm. Scrolls. Scrolls? No. 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 Spell, Spell scroll survive. Scrolls. Spell scroll survive. Okay. Alright, send this. Well, uh, Alright. Okay, They're a bit blood covered. 50, so I had 90. How many feet of rope did we use to make our little suspension gig? 50. 50? Okay, so that's back down to 40 then. So that didn't change. The only thing that changed is the number of pythons in that um, inventory. Okay. Alright, so which marching yeah. order as you go single file down this small staircase? I'll be in the front. Uh, with I'll be in Type it out. behind him, I guess. You don't have a choice. We'll have You're... we'll have iron in the back, so we'll have the two, oh, two dentures in the middle. Oh no, never mind. It was George and Mike. Michelangelo's good to go. He's yep. not retarded. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought. Okay, cool. Then yeah, we'll just, just the player, have not not the character. The we'll have Steven. We'll have Steven be yeah. second, and then who wants to be in the back? I'll take. I'll go. I'll take the rear. Oh, Gargoth will take the rear, but no, he can't fit down. Can Gargoth fit? He yes, so. if he squeezes. Okay, we'll okay. have Gargoth in the back then. So we'll go Royce. Yes, yes, he will be in the back. <laughs> we'll go Royce, Steven, Michelangelo, Ir. Gargoth. Yep. Just type it out. I got it. Just makes it easier because I can refer back to it. Yep, I'm working on building the character right now, so 
I'm not um, paying much mind. Under would that jade coffer have been destroyed? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. That jade coffer was holding the spell scrolls. Right, the scrolls are okay. The jade coffer itself, however, is is utterly destroyed. And the of healing. <laughs> Can you just type them in? Type them in and send them to me. Yeah. Thank just, you. just take in window shift S and just snip your inventory and then send him. You can just control V into chat with him. That's what I do when I yeah. I just send snips all the time. Gargle. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Yeah. So Royce, yeah, you're descending this hallway, or just this uh, spiral staircase. Goes down about fifteen feet. Couple of couple of turns around. And you emerge in this five foot wide hallway going forward 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 feet to another spiral staircase, this one going up. Can I. Uh, do we still have any chalk? Uh, um, actually. If it was no. in the bag of holding, it would have survived. In the bag of holding? Yeah, it was. Okay. Yes, can I ask do. can I ask Ayer to hand me some chalk? I'll make an investigation check to see if we can find any doors or anything like that. Sure, make an investigation check. Yep. Well it's a it's it's a coin purse that was um yeah, turned it, into a bag for holding powdered chalk and then you can use it as a puffer like uh, Sherlock Holmes does. Yeah, that thing. You can also use it for fingerprinting. And if you want to give anyone, you know, cancer in 20 years. That we ain't going to live that long, clearly. Well, Rex certainly didn't. (laughs) His fucking boots did. (laughs) Somebody better grab them boots. You would have had advantage. Oh, I have advantage? Yeah. Yeah. You're using a tool, so that gives you, you're using something to uh, help you locate fine cracks, and there you go. Oh. All right, yeah, so you're kind of going along this five foot quarter, puffing with your uh, chalk. As you get to the stairs that head upward, you find no secrets. Go figure. Um, okay. I will head up this staircase. Okay. Right. The staircase emerges and then immediately turns to the left, heading north in a ten foot wide hallway that immediately then turns to the right. I think uh, I don't know. I think I'm getting a little tired, Royce. Do you want to try to rest right here? In the hallway of this place. I'm working on it. Okay. Cool. I'm just trying to figure out where we are. Well, so so what I've come to the conclusion is we really haven't ran into any beings that are entirely, and it's been mostly just trapped. So I think we'd probably be pretty safe if we just stayed right here instead of getting into something that we can't handle by ourselves. Well, there's... we'll get the map real quick and see if there's a room at least we can yeah. wander into. But if not, that's fine. I'm cool with that. They're aggressively pointing down the staircase. No. We're not going to listen to you. <laughs> So no rooms off the side. Uh, um, nothing. Alrighty. So unfortunately, you don't have... I don't have the five-foot-wide hallway, but this is essentially what that looks like. And then you're emerging in that top area there. Okay. So we're in the little... Square. Two by two, ten by ten room. Well, you can see that the hallway continues to the right, like it goes to the east. It's, it's a hallway that immediately goes north and turns to the right. I see. Oh, okay. Uh... Here, Bob, you guys can hang out here. I'll, I'm just going to go down the hallway some more. And if I don't find any okay. rooms, or, see, or just if it keeps going more hallway, yeah, we can just sit there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I'll just I'll walk down the hallway more. I have my lit torch. Just... Okay. All right, yes, yeah, so you go to that corner and look around it, and you can see that the hallway continues for 40 more feet, ending in a great block of dark gray metal. 
three slots in this block sit at about waist height, empty. Hmm. Okay, and it's just a hall, another five foot hallway that just leads into that. Ten foot. Ten foot hallway. Okay. Uh, can I use the chalk again to see um, if I can find any secret? Rooms I just want to. I just want to point out there is a limited use with that because it, you know, uh, one under arc and I originally discussed it. It costs five pieces of chalk to use it, and there's obviously a limited supply of chalk in the original from passing down from player to player. So. There is 37 yeah. when I started with it today in a full charge. I used it once, and you've used it once, so there's 27 chalk remaining. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, kind Just of so you, I, wanted, I wanted to explain it. Underdark and I worked okay. that out mathematically so that we had a, a, a use to be able to you know have the tool, yeah. and it's a cheap cheap resupply, but we obviously can't get chalk in hell. Yeah. That's cool. Um, okay, can I just make a regular investigation check then, see if I can find anything? Sure, make an investigation check. Yep, you find no secrets. All right, have a good night. Oops. Um, okay, I'll, yeah, I'll walk. Sorry about that. The, Sounded the wrong. Clicked on the wrong button. <laughs> so the so the end of the hallway is just that where that little gray line is. It's just that. that's that block of metal I described. The three slots at waist height. Yeah, but that's all that's there. There's no door or anything in front of it. It just looks like a big piece of metal. Correct. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go back and I'll tell everyone what I saw. Uh, do you guys want to go uh, go camp out in front of this thing? That way, I, it doesn't look like it's a point of access. Like it doesn't look like an, a usable door, at least at the moment. So it might be a little bit safer to only have to worry about one, just one path that people could get to us, and, and it wouldn't they wouldn't really be able to sneak up on a, with a forty foot. Well, I mean, either either way, they wouldn't uh, be able to... Oh, I see what you're saying. But, like, if that door opens, that door opens. Either yeah, way. the door opens and opens, period. But this way, in case we miss, like, a secret room or something, just... Okay. You guys cool with camping out in front of that the metal door? Yeah. Okay. I'm down with it. Cool. Yeah, can we, uh, can we just take a long rest there? Yeah, you guys can settle down for a nice long rest. Do we need a watch order, or does Gargoth have to sleep? Gargar tells you that you are not paying him to keep watch. Weird. Uh, does Elon count as watch order? Uh, no, he's not here. Man, I want to test if the fucking blocks are like. Um, how about this? I say let's just um, one, one hey. watch order open then. No, I'll do this. Um, I'll cast a ritual cat. Oh, do I have to be awake for uh, alarm to work? Uh, it will wake you up if it triggers. Okay, but uh, oh yeah, duration eight hours. Okay, so yeah, and there's no concentration. So I'm gonna set an alarm alarm uh, for anyone who's not our party that enters uh, this hallway, basically. Okay, so you're setting the trigger to be anyone who is not your party. Mm -hmm. Not in our party. Okay, yeah. Gargoth qualifies as our party, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that Remember you contracted nice. for him to come along with you? Yeah, that worked that works for me. So no watches then. Okay. No watches. Okay. You go to sleep. The night passes. You guys wake up. You've had a successful long rest. Dope dope dope. Okay. Okay. Um, can I check out the so alright, so with that I readied uh, greater restoration. Okay. So I'm gonna use that on my boy, uh, on my uh, on the cleric. Okay. I assume you have the diamond dust. Oh, I do. Uh, I do not, cause it. I have the. Um, you need a hundred gold worth of diamond dust, which is consumed when you cast the spell. Yeah. The diamond. Mind. Was there any? Was there any? We have a diamond. Dust? That wouldn't go into my. Is too cost too much. Well, we have the we have the gem dust from when we opened all the coffers. Can we can we make a check to see if any of it well, was diamond dust? Hold up. Negative. Can un, under uh, yeah. Question. Diamond dust would not be in my opponent's because it costs right. Correct. 
Correct. Right? Because it has a gold cost that is not automatically in your uh, component pouch. Now, if you guys have a diamond, you can grind it up to make diamond right. dust. Uh, I can I go out the diamond the... that I have. I go out there and take the diamond. <laughs> um, I'll do it. Cause I'm How much dust is one diamond anyways? anyways? It doesn't matter. It's I think it's a diamond's worth. Right? Yeah, it's about... Well, the question is how $300. you need a hundred gold worth of diamond dust. So the question is how big of a diamond do you have? Uh, it was it was the diamond that we found. It was the diamonds that we found in the chests. It was a three hundred uh, gold piece before uh, we went to hell. Uh, yeah, it was a three hundred gold piece diamond. I remember yep. I was when we found it and I gave it to you. Okay. So yeah, you could you could grind that diamond down and end up with three hundred gold pieces worth of diamond dust. I yeah, I'm gonna put. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the hundred to you to for greater restoration and put the other in a pouch and give that pouch to, uh, or two pouches. Give one to keep one and then give one to Steve after greater restor after I cast greater restoration. All right. You cast greater restoration on Steve. Steve, your wits are returned to you. Oh. Hi guys. Play now. Oh, does he I understand? Care. Does he understand everything that happened yesterday? Or do we need to explain it to him? No, he he was there. He witnessed it. He was just dumb. <laughs> oh, I can't remember what my stats were. Oh. oh my god, you don't have your fucking shit on. You didn't just pencil that in. You full on block changed it. I don't want to talk about it. Oh my fucking god, Jake. <laughs> Bro, it's called Sticky Notes. Oh my god, bro. Alright, no, I actually well, saw the He's still dumb. His oh, character's fine, yeah. though. Oh, <laughs> alright. Um, well, Steve, we... there is a solution for this, if you'd like to hear it. Yeah. Roll 3d6 twice. Uh, It was my charisma, so my charisma automatically becomes a 20, so it's just one 3d6, right? Uh... Sure. Right. Oh, what was your other one? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and make intelligence. Yeah, it was int and charisma. You have an int of eight. At least he doesn't need it. Pretty sure clerics are charisma casters, right? They're wisdom. Yeah. Oh, wisdom. Oh, okay, so he was fine yeah. overall then. Yeah, I don't uh, think I was very smart. Who's got the Who's got the best investigation? Murder right now. I do. You're a plus uh, six, don't you? It's plus eight. I have a plus eight. Oh, you're plus six. Right, you're the uh, wizard. If uh, if anyone has guidance and wants to use it on you, you want to investigate this uh, metal wall. Well, now that I can use it, I can absolutely start throwing guidance out. <laughs> Thank you. And that's one d plus one d four. Mm-hmm. As you investigate this door. If we use shot, can he have advantage? Sure. I will blow five more shots, so there's 22 chocolate. Okay. Yep. As long as somebody's keeping track of it. That's that's the reason I was passing that information along, because that is that yeah. is passed through five players' hands now. Yeah. <laughs> I, under, mm -hmm. really quick, while he's doing this, uh, I also remembered that I did take a plus two to one of my skills. Is that included in that 3d6? You or have eight I? intelligence right now. Okay. All right, 19. Thank God we did all that. Kind of fuck. All right, 19. So, first thing, you, you recognize this metal. This is adamantine. Oh. And it appears to be a type of sliding door from the way it's set into the walls and the floor and the ceiling. But the only mechanism visible on it are these three... Um, s uh, slots at about waist height. As you're examining them, you realize that they're not like rectangular, but are actually somewhat lozenge shaped. What? Huh? Like, like an oval? Like a like a like a like a, like a three dimensional oval? Uh no, no. Uh, Christ. Like a barrel. Th this is a lozenge. That that's the it's name of that diamond. shape. That's a goddamn rhombus. 
Yes, it is. It is a specific orient. It is a specific um, aspect ratio of rhombus. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Anybody recognize this at all? Well, you, you, okay. Yeah. Good. I yeah, no, I'm, no. Like, I'm talking to the party. Does do any of you recognize this shape at all, or what we would need to put uh, in here? I wouldn't see anything different with true sight, would I? True sight does not reveal any differences. I see. Um, can I, like, think back to the history of, like, of the shape. keys, of the shape, yeah, keys, or, or, um, anything in particular that relates to that shape? Sure! Um, go, go ahead and make a history check. Can I use the chalk to give him advantage? No. <laughs> Shut up. Guidance! Oh my god, we're just throwing everything at it, huh? D <laughs> four. Alright. Ah, oh, damn. Stop giving me guidance. You're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> well, given the nature of your occupation, it occurs to you that this shape is kind of a generic shape, and that there are several other kinds of shapes that could fit within it. God damn it, why does it keep doing two? Like, such as these shapes. These would all fit within that. You had it, You had that picture ready? Yeah. So, swords. Jake, so, put I do. Look at the bag of holes. Um, yeah, I know. There's a, there's a couple swords. Bag of holes. There's a sword or a couple? I can... Just a silvered longsword. Yeah, I'm going to put the... Stick the little silvered longsword in there. You guys, I would, you know, I'd say to the party, hey guys, I think we could fit, like, like if in, um, our sword silver spear in there. Can I, can I try no. to use my, my silver short sword in one of the holes and see if it fits? Yes, it does fit. Yeah, so we'll put all the swords in. Okay, so, so you put the swords in one at a time, and for, there's three slots, left, right, and center. Uh, any particular order? Um, let's go the sword of, or the jig the sword in the center. Wait, we're, we're, wait, let's if we have extra swords, let's not use yeah. the sword as area. Yeah, I don't want to use yeah, that sword. Fair. You have a uh, silver spear have, that I have. No sword. We'll use my short sword, and you have two swords in a bag of holding. One negative, just one. I just had a silver long sword that I picked up from I don't remember where. Gotcha. I would use your sword then, Ire. Instead of Stevens, I have a rapier. That's still a sword. It is okay, not. It's not that shape. Yeah, it's rapiers a, are not. A rapier is shape. like a, 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 a rapier is like like a fencing sword. No one else has a sword on him. What a Just head use head the silver long sword. I am using it right three. now. We are. Wait, that, that's three. one of the two swords that we currently have. A javelin head would fit. Would a spearhead work? Try it. I'll Try put it. a javelin. I'll stick a javelin in there. No particular order. No, with the spear, the not the javelin. No particular. Or spear, okay, not the javelin. javelin. But, um, anyways. We'll I will try and no the particular order. Now. Stop talking. Jesus. We'll t- stick them in. You were the only one talking. In no particular. Talking over me. Anyways. We'll stick them in no particular order. Sticking what in? I heard that's basically that's nothing of that. Can we use the spear as the third? Can we see if the spear fits? The spear does not fit. Okay. Neither does can the we, javelin. Yeah. Can we use your sword then, Steven? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Then let's go Sword of Zeriel, my short sword, silver long sword. All right. Left- mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So you stick those swords in one at a time. They do all fit into the uh, openings. When you put the third sword in. The adamantine door rumbles a bit, and the swords fall out of the openings, clattering to the ground. Thank God. Nothing, no, it just rumbles? It rumbles a bit, and the swords fall out. Hmm. Uh, pick up the swords. Can I take a look at the swords, see if anything changed? Sure, make an investigation check. Oh... I'm bad at these. Guidance. You can guidance yourself, yes. (sighs) 
Maybe not. There it is. <laughs> yeah, is like, yeah, you you give them uh, you know a work a look over. Uh they appear to be undamaged by their by your efforts. Yeah. Should we try so, a different order? I'm saying middle. Sword is Ariel in the middle. Yeah. Sword, sword of Ariel. Okay. Short in left or right. Short sword, sword of Ariel, long sword. Okay, and you're putting them in, like, you know, the left to right in terms of, like, you put the short sword in, then you put the sword Ariel, and then you put the long sword in? Mm-hmm. We put them no, all in. No, sword of Ariel in last. You put the two on the side at the same time, and then sword of Ariel last in the middle. So, I think we need some clarification. Under, are they all, are they in a row? Or are they yes. On, up on top of them? They are in a row. Vertical orientation, similar to the second image I posted. At waist height. About six inches apart. The middle one is in the center of the door. X, like, in terms of left or right. Do we just no. jam them in all at the same time? Yeah, I say let's do them all three at the same time. And I'll be yeah. in the middle? Okay. Yeah. Do that. Yep. Okay. You shove the swords in at the same time. Mm. Triple penetration. You hear a click and a rumble. And the adamantine door swings open, revealing an enormous chamber colored in pastels and a forest of massive, many-hued columns supporting the ceiling, as far as you can see. Where are the swords? Still in the door. Can we walk in and pull the sword out? Absolutely. I take the sword of Zeriel. No. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Can't even attune to it. Um, okay. Um, yeah, can we look around? Maybe make an investigation yeah. check or something just to see what we see? Yeah, I can do that. Fine. Okay, yeah, you see you guys walk in. Go ahead and make your investigation check. You start looking around. That's my investigation check. Okay. So yeah, you start looking around. You just look at this area by the door. You can see the pillars seem to run off as far as your dark vision goes in every direction. Uh, I don't have dark vision, but we do have the torch. And or the dancing lights or the torch. Yeah, dancing torch. Nothing on the old true sight. Um Can I cast Arcane Eye? Hold on. And as you guys are finishing up, kind of looking around a bit at this entrance, with a slam, the adamantine door closes behind you. Mm. And this side of the door, inside the room, is smooth. There are no slots on this side. Like a baby butt. Yeah. Uh, can I cast Arcane Eye? Yes, now you can cast Arcane Eye. Sorry. <laughs> okay, cool. And um, so what is that got? What is that guy going? My bad. Uh, invisible moving on the range, 30 foot round, blah, blah, blah. I can see through. Um, so now I have dark vision. So, hey, now I have dark vision, guys. So, I don't know. This is kind of spooky to me. Um, we want to extinguish torches, the dance, the light. The dancing lights and all that, and then still can't see even. Or... I don't know. I sure. I might as well keep the torch. There's not really a reason to keep it dark. True. Um, I guess I could uh, just I could just be having. We could all walk together and yeah. have the arcane in front of us. That's cool with me. Yep. All right. And uh, we'll just do that. So I'll be patrolling ahead with the arcane eye as we're moving. How about forward. how about we how about we space ourselves out? Okay. So you see how wide the room is. Yeah. What yeah. if I mean? Space the f- five of us out, Gargoth in the middle, and then two of us on either side, every, like skipping every other row or whatever. And then we just walk down uh, and just see what we see. Okay. Uh, through sight, anything? Uh, it doesn't look any different. Okay. All right. So we'll just keep moving forward then. Yeah. Okay. One second. Let me update the map.
Do you guys want to be sneaky? No, because only yeah. three of you guys can see. And yeah, like this. we haven't run into anybody. And my oh. sword, and my sword lights up, so it's like a fifteen foot radius. So there's not uh, really any good. You guys, you guys found the columned hall. Goddamn column. Oh god. Don't say it like that. It's gonna be fucking the TMI. Holland Hall? That's part of the poem. Holy Lord. So that's the room. Oh. Now, Very for good. some description. In the southern middle, contrasting with the pastel colors of the floor and pillars of the hall, is a stark blackness of the huge dais on the south wall, atop which sits an obsidian throne inlaid with silver and ivory skulls. Upon the throne rests a crown made of gold, and a scepter made of electrum, with a gold knob on one end and a silver cap on the other. I just pasted it from my sheet. The, um, yeah, I was going to ask that. From the, Thank you. It is in the pins. Okay. If you go up to the, if you're on a PC, you can go to the pins relatively easily. We pinned it for you guys. Find the. Okay, so if you find the find the, true. If you find the false, you find the true. I think that's the trap door, and into the mm -hmm. column tall you'll come, and there the throne that's key and key. Someone keyed the throne. Are there scratches on the throne? Make a perception but, um, check. Tis. Okay. Make a perception check. There we go. All right. So as you're looking over, it looks to be in good condition. You know, there are some chips and some scratches on it, seemingly random. You also find a small replica of the crown inlaid in silver on the lower front panel of the seat. But otherwise, the throne is without other adornment other than the skulls. But it's not attached to the throne? It's a loose replica crown? No, it's like it's an inlay carved oh. into it and made of silver. Oh, oh um, okay. So, like, like, we could... But it's smaller? It is part of the throne, is what I'm saying. It's, it's an inlay. So you, Do you guys know what an inlay a, is? Yes. yes. Well, okay. Even, like, it's crown. carved into... Oh, like... It's, yeah, it's a part of the crown. crown. Yes. Can we go, can we go and, should we go investigate the doors up top for now? Yeah, let's check them out. Uh, so gentlemen, we... the Iron Man of Visage Grim do more than meets the viewer's eye. So, just be on the lookout. Yeah, but for now I'd rather just get a better feel of the room. Yep. What's in the far right corner? In the bottom, uh, the yeah, southeast. What's in the bottom right corner? Ah. Oh. So strewn near that southeast corner is a heap of charred bones and skulls. Plus the crisped and blackened remains of clothing and, and adventuring gear, arms and armor. Mm. Oh, what's that, in there? Does it look what? familiar? <laughs> 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 not particularly, though it's really impossible okay. to make a not positive ID of it. But you oh. do see as you're looking at this, as you get a little closer, that you can see a huge glowing orange gem at the center of the destruction. Okay. Bob, you want to make an investigation check? Yeah, I'm going to check that thing out. What's that, what's that thing, dude? Someone, someone want to make an more. investigation check. Someone want to give him a hand? Yep. I just don't yeah. want to touch anything. Of I don't need it. Any energy. All right, I, I, yeah, you, you, you're taking a look at this, and you're pretty sure this is some type of magic gem. Could I... Sorry. No, go ahead. Say, can I tell what, like, the school of magic, or, like, what kind you of You think you would is? need something like detect magic or identify to get more information? Uh, I have either one. Identify. I'm going to cast identify uh, as a ritual. I do uh, have 100 gold pieces. Uh, you don't need gold pieces. You need a pearl worth 100 gold. Do you have that? Oh. I don't. Okay, then I'm going to do det det Detect Magic. Okay. Det det detect Magic does require a skill check. 
you can see that this gem is emanating a very strong aura of conjuration magic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what's the skill check? Um... There is no skill check. Oh, I thought you said did. No, no, I said there isn't. Oh, guidance is, there's no point to guidance oh, is what I'm saying. If, yeah. if, I, if I looked at it, would I be able to yeah, tell ritual. something different? Or would I just be able to see that it's aura? You, if you're using detect magic, you would see this conjuration aura. Um, is there any other ability you have other than just true sight? Just true sight. Then it looks like a gem. Ah. Uh, it's a glowing orange gem, but it's a gem. I see. Uh, um, I think, um, you know, I'm just going to grab it, guys. Yeah, I'm going to try. Ooh, I don't, uh, know I don't want you to in the hold up. In fact, as you're looking at this more and more ire, you realize that this is very strong in Conjuration. So strong, in fact, that you get a vague feeling that the Wish spell is involved in the gem's magic. No fucking... Oh, shit. Fucking dragon, by the way. I wish that Gargoth was in love with Royce. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. take the gem. Okay. I'm put it in my pack, not the bag of holding. Don't okay. Touch, don't touch it with your hands. Use, like, a rag or something. It's too late. Yeah. God damn it, Ire. He picked it up with his bare hands and put it in his pack. Okay. And roll initiative? No, it's it's in his pack. Okay. okay. Uh, let's go check out the, the, the northwest door. Yeah, let's go to the northwest door. Um, did Is there something in the idea? northwest corner, too? You're looking, you realize it near the ceiling. There is another one of about 24 feet above the floor in that northwest corner is a mosaic sculpture of a green devil face, its mouth agape, it's very similar to the to one you saw earlier in this dungeon. How, t how high is it? 24 feet above the ground. Can I... Uh, let me see if I have any... I have wings. I have a grappling hook. I have. I was just gonna make sure fit in there because I I was squeezing into other things like that. I had pittens. Can I like put the pittens in the wall and just use them to climb up there? Wait, wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Yeah, shun green if you can, but night's good color is for those of great valor. If shades of red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice aught but a loop of magical metal. You're well. You're well along your march. But we gotta take the crown and drop it in that little slot. So, no, no, no. you do notice as you guys walk into that northwest corner, and you get within ten feet of it, that the that, that door, which is at ground level, begins shimmering with a faint blue light. Can we go see what the color of the middle and the right doors are? Wait. Yep, thank you. Yeah, I was just like, I'm gonna post the entire thing. <laughs> Because it is, it is somewhat chronological, but it is not exact. So yeah, yeah. I think we're past the colors part, maybe. But anyway, can we check out the colors of the other two doors? Sure. As you walk past the center door, it begins glowing with a violet color. Nope. And as you pass off to the southeast door, or sorry, northeast door, it also glows with a blue faint blue light. You also notice in the northeast corner, also 24 feet above the ground, a second one of those green devil faces. Okay. It was green. You also it. notice as you're looking up at it with that this one is not pristine like the one in the northwest corner is. There appears to be like a blue uh, vertigo over the uh, green stone. Don't know what that means. Uh, like a blue-colored rust on the stone. Oh. I mean, we killed like one, and there's ball. one more left. Like, he's dead, and there's one more. Verdigris. Color of the night. Would violet be considered the color of the night? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Should we try to open the middle door? Yeah, let's go to the middle. I'll go. I'll, I'll be the one to open the middle door. Okay. 
So you touch the door and begin opening it. The light changes from its purplish lilac color to a bright and coruscating purple with tinges of sickly green. And as the door opens, you see a bare chamber, a small door on the north wall, and pairs of swords crossed behind shields hung upon the walls. There are three such sets on each of the walls to either hand and two sets on the north wall, one flanking each side of the door. That's a, that's a lot of info. Um, okay. Do you want to just check the other door on the wall, though? Say again? There are shields hanging on the wall? There are shields with like a pair of swords crossed behind them on the walls to your left and right. Three sets each. On the far wall, flanking to the left and to the right of the door that you're looking at, are another two sets. So there are a total of eight sets of these uh, shields and swords. Are any of them telepathically talking to me? None of them are attempting to telepathically talk to you. What are they made out of? They appear to be made out of metal. (laughs) Oh, can I see maybe what kind of metal? So you're walking into the room? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to walk in there, actually. Um, do we want to open the other doors, too? Uh, I mean, it uh, kind of feels like we're getting guided this way because it is a different color, but I think we just got to go, actually. It's different. I think we just got through, go into the room. I don't know, I'm cool. It's different. I mean, yeah, let's open them, see what it's about. Uh, I didn't like that. I kind of want to... Uh, um, if, if you guys don't want to, then I'm cool with going in this room, too. I really don't care. Okay, so we'll you two go in there, place. and then I want to go carefully check we're out... We're not splitting the party. We're, you're, we're gonna, okay. More people are going to die if we split the party. All right, well, then I'll stand outside the, the room. Okay. So what are you guys doing? I'm going in the room. Same. Everybody else should wait at least, like, 10 to 15 feet. Okay, so you guys back up, and then Royce and Michelangelo are going into this 10x10 10 10 room? I'll go in by myself first. Okay, well then I step back. Alright, Royce. You step into the room. To your left, two flying swords and one of the shields come careening off the wall, flying as if by magic, and begin heading towards you. Roll initiative. It's a trap! <laughs> it's a trap! God damn it. Everyone should roll initiative. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was looking through my spell sheet. Mm. Where's your mind? Really plus nine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, brutal. They got our. You said that the shield is also flying off the wall? Indeed. Two swords and a shield. Okay. Alright, Mike, what do you do? Alright, so, uh, going to my two... Wait, you have a plus nine to initiative? Yes. Jesus. How? how? Alert. I'm a rogue. He's a rogue with alert. alert. Yeah, so what do you do, Michael? Uh, how far am I from Royce? You said you backed up 10 feet. Oh, I said it back up 10 feet. Okay, so I'm going to move up another 5 feet up to Royce. Okay, you move up and 5 feet. I'm going to do a... Would you swing at... With my uh, nunchucks. I, you're, I'm, I'm sorry, you're attacking Royce with your nunchucks? No, I'm attacking the... Sorry, it's the sword. You'd have to go into the room to do that. Oh, okay. Well, let's go into the room. All right. That. You go into the room, getting into melee with these two swords and the shield. Sweet. And that means As you five. do so, you notice another set of swords and shields beginning to animate. We got a bail. We got, we got a bail. So what do you do? Yes, yeah, so you go in there. You're in melee with these guys. You notice the other yeah. set also beginning to animate. I'm going to yell back to the party. Uh, I'm going to look at Royce and go, 
you are cutting off, and so I'm only hearing like the first part of each <sighs> sentence. I'll yeah, I'll fix it. You're, you're saying something, but we don't know what you're saying. A little better? Nope. I mean, we're hearing the first part of your statement without problem. The problem is, is we only get like the first six words, and then you just turn off. I was, if you're not using it, I would suggest switching to push to talk. It's easier to control for stuff like that. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. All right. Cool. So it's just my shit fucking up. All right. So I'm gonna turn to the party and go. Uh, don't come in. And then I'm gonna turn to Royce and go. Uh, we should probably uh, skedaddle and. Behind us, um, unless, unless we're forced in combat. Okay, so, okay, so you run into the room, you say your stuff. What do you do? Because again, you're breaking up. Oh, fucking hell. He's basically saying that he wants to like get out of the room and yeah. telling everyone, don't go in the room. Okay, how much movement speed do you have? Okay. So if you were to back up, that would get you right to the door. Uh, if you don't do anything else, that will, it would also provoke attacks of opportunity from the two swords and the shield that you are in melee with. Is that um, what you'd like to do? Nate, you do anything? He's typing. Okay. All right, roll to hit then. That hits. As the shield intercepts your swing and you hit the shield doing damage to the shield, so roll damage for that hit. Uh, yes, you are within five feet of Royce. All right, yeah, you just utterly carve that shield in two, leaving just the two swords. Uh, uh, he swung at a sword. He did. The shield intercepted it. Special oh. ability of the shield. So it took the hit instead of the swords. Gotcha. But it destroyed. But the shield did not have enough hit points to survive that, so that shield is destroyed. Oh. Okay. Ire? Alright. So, uh, upon all of this, I'm going to step into the hallway, cast Thunder Wave. So, sorry, feet. you're stepping into the room? Because you're in the pillared hall right now. I'm in the pillar of the hall behind them. Correct. correct. Where yeah. are you going? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay right where I'm at. I'm just going to get an angle to cast Thunder Wave about 16 feet in front of Michelangelo. So okay. basically just so where the cube doesn't hit. Yep, yep. Um, and what's the save for that? That is a con. I think they both fail. Uh, both fail, yeah. Um... And I'm also casting that at a third level. Okay. So. Generally, you will need to say that in the future ahead of time. Like you I'm can't sorry. Say it. It's fine. This time it's fine. Uh, in the future. Yes. I. It was my intention too. I just. It was not that I was like waiting till it was a failure and like saying it. I I, I'm not. I'm not accusing you of that. that. I'm just saying for the sake yeah. of fairness, you need to call it out ahead of time. Yep. Because there are times sure. when. Because I'll do the same thing. So yeah, perfect. And then they're also pushed ten feet away. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. They are. They are uh, yeah, pushed ten feet away from what? Um, from me. From you. Okay, that's fucking weird. Okay, yeah. They are. They clang into the wall. Yeah. Anything else? Cool. Uh. I'll bonus action blade song. Okay. Uh, it. Uh, Bob, I think 
Yeah, the cube sweeps out from you. You can't point the cube. You don't pick where the cube goes for Thunder Wave. Oh, yeah, he's right. It does do that. Uh, oh, well. Okay. Well, I didn't catch it, so whatever. We'll just keep moving on. I don't want to okay. have to retcon everything. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. But, yeah, next time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a yep, self cube. From my hand. Cube from my hand. Okay. Oh. Yep. All right. So, Original these guys, the two swords that you hit, fly forward and attack Michelangelo twice. Does a 12 hit Michelangelo? Okay. The other two swords in the shield fly up to... Uh, I believe it was Royce that went in there. Yes? Yep. Yeah, they fly up to you and they try to hack at you. <clears throat> 20 into 19. Both hit. Alright, they hit for a total of 14 slashing damage. Okay. These guys blow. Let's fuck them. Alright, that is all they do. Royce, it is your turn. Okay. You are in melee with a shield and two swords. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna uh, take a quick glance to see if I can see any testicles on the shield. You do not. Ugh, okay, then I'm just going to uh, spend a key point to take four attack, and I'm gonna use just all four of them on the shield. Okay. You begin pummeling the shield. Roll a hit. Brutal. One hit. Okay, yep, yeah, you dent the shield. Anything else? Um. No, no, that's my turn. All right, Steve. Um. I'm outside. Mm -hmm. This is happening. I'm guessing these things are going to chase us out into the hallway here. Um, I don't want to get in there, so we are going to just go ahead and take two Eldritch Blasts at uh, whatever I can see that looks dangerous. All right. Well, you can see four flying swords and a flying shield. Uh, let's, let's hit one of those uh, swords there. All right. Do you want the ones by Michelangelo or the ones by Royce? Um, just, uh, get the ones near uh, Michelangelo. All right, rolled hit. Uh, it's bang R. That is. One hit. Ooh, okay. Nimble. They're swords. They're flying swords. Yeah, they're nimble. Yeah. There's that. Alright, that sword is badly damaged, equivalent to bloodied. Okay, well then um, I'm gonna take my own flying, flying sword and uh, spiritual weapon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your own sword appears next to the sword. That sword is badly damaged. I think another good hit will destroy it. Thank you. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, Michelangelo. Okay, roll to hit. Miss. Anything else? All right, Ire. All right, I'm going to bonus action Misty step into the room. Um, okay. The, the, the full 30 feet. Okay. Down the hall. 
Um, and then am it's, I, it's a 10 by 10 oh, room. 10 by 10 room. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll just misstep into the room. All right. Um, so and take okay. two attacks at the nearest uh, near sword. All right, you're going for the bloodied one? Uh, you know what? That one's... Oh, by I'll Michelangelo, or are you going for the ones by Royce? There's some distance between them. You can't be in melee of both at the same time. Okay. Uh, I'll just take out the one that's closest. Okay. Uh, that would be the Ooh, ones by Royce. It. Yeah. Is it? Are they? Do they share health, or is it unclear? Okay. So I'll just take one attack at the bloody or the the very verge of death. Okay. So you go over to the verge of death one. Roll hit. You miss. All right. Take another attack at it. Dude. You miss again. Yeah. As you notice, a third set of swords and a shield becoming active. Okay, and that's all for me. Okay. Alrighty, well, these two swords are going to try to hack at Michelangelo. Does 22 hit Michelangelo? Can reaction, oh, can I reaction shield that, uh, that crit? The shield, I believe, is only a location of self. The sh you're talking about the shield spell, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah range of self. self. Am I next self, to my plan? You are. Uh, can I use my protection uh, ability as, as my second level fighter to give one of those disadvantage? Sure. Which one do you want to give disadvantage to? The next one. Is... Okay. So a four, does a 14 hit Michelangelo? All right, so only the 22 hit. Which does eight slashing damage to you. Let's see, then we got the two swords by Rice. Okay. Does a 15 hit Royce? 15 okay. doesn't, 22 does. Alright. Hits you for 11 slashing damage. Ugh. Ire, that one set that activated floats over to you, and those two swords attack you. Okay. I see where this is going. Does a 22 hit you? It hits. Both hit. for a total of 14 slashing damage. Perfect. Hey. And Royce, it is your turn. Um, is everybody in the room? Not Gargoth. Uh, not Gargoth, not Steve. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah. I'll just, I'll, I'll take four attacks against. Uh, is the shield hurt at all? The shield is dented. Yes, from where you hit it last time. Oh, the sh uh, yeah. I'll attack the shield four times. Okay, I'll roll to hit. Two hits, one of which oh. is a crit. Uh. Twenty-two damage. All right, with your with that third blow, you destroy the shield. And there's still a sword in front of me. There Just are two one? swords. Two swords. Yes, a pair of swords and a shield each time. Okay. Um. I and I'm what five feet in front of the door. Yes. I'm gonna back up so I'm. Uh, like on whatever the other side of the. Of being outside of the room is. So okay. Like, like on the other side of the door, but like peeking in. Sure. And I'll, I'll take the opportunity attack. Mm -hmm. Yep, the two swords make attack with opportunity on you. Seven, 17 hit? It does not. Alright, you dodge both. You back out of the room. Um, and that, yeah, that'll be my turn. Alright, Steve? Um, well, I'm, uh, 
uh, stay in outside of the room because I imagine there's a threat for me in there. Uh, so we're going to take uh, two more Eldritch Blasts at uh, some swords. All right. Uh, one hit. I assume you're targeting the bloodied sword? Uh, yeah, may as well. Okay. That sword is destroyed. Okay, well then my spiritual weapon's going to move to the next closest one and... Mm -hmm. Roll to hit. Good job, Jake. Which is the second sword of Michelangelo. That one also hits. That sword is now bloodied and looks to be on the verge of death. Excellent. That's it for me. Okay. Michelangelo, you are in melee with one badly damaged near-death sword. In the room, there are two, four, five swords active. There are a total. There were are a total of fifteen swords in the room, but only five of them are currently active. All right, the three swords make a tax opportunity then that you run past. Well, yeah, like you, you just you move from the one in front of you. That's one, and then there are the two that were fighting Roy, so you'll have to run past to get out the door. Do you still want to do that? Okay. Uh, what's your armor class? It's two hits. If it ties, it hits you. For a total of 18 slashing damage. As you run out of the room. Anything else? Iyer is still in that room. Do you still close the door? Okay. Anything else in your turn? Alright. Iyer, you're in the room, alone. Uh, Misty Step out of the room. Okay, you Misty Step out of the room. That was your bonus action. Cast, yep, and I'm going to cast a uh, level... Four shatter into the room, centered centered in the room. Okay, what's the radius on that? It is a ten foot sphere. All right, perfect. What's the, what's the save? Con. Okay. Uh, I can't remember. Does this spell have a disadvantage if it's a construct making the save? Yes, it does. Okay. What's the DC? One. Sixteen. So one passed. Yep. Incredible. Roll damage. Is this damage automatically doubled on a construct? It's automatically a damage, or anything that is an inanimate object. Ah, okay. Well, these are not inanimate objects, however... Or inorganic. Inorganic. Inorganic, or aha, okay. Come on, Bob. All of these swords and shields in the room are utterly destroyed, along with the doors. There it is. You guys, 
as you are staring north into a room beyond this 10 by 10 room, are out of initiative. And that is where we will call it for the evening. Oh.